All right, Mopar people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm just Mopar Joe. Maybe I'm the bad tree version today, but it says right there, it's a one-off hoodie. Anyway, I got my paint chips in from Eurochem. You can order that for like 10 bucks. Um, it's much easier to tell actually having the book versus looking at the stuff online. So let's have a look and see what's closest. I got other paint stuff going on today. Uh, probably gonna be a lot of sanding. It'll be fun and exciting. Uh, but what I'm trying to match up to is like this trunk lid. I'm not painting this. I'm not painting any jams. Uh, that's just our agreement. And I'm good with that. It'll be a lot easier job to do. Uh, but I'll switch over to our solid color page. What I'm looking for here, they have several solid red colors. But this one called habanero looks very very close to this i don't i'm not even sure what the factory paint code is on this car and it actually doesn't matter just because i could go and order a gallon of factory paint from wherever get it and spray it and it's going to be a different tone than this so really what what you're trying to do in my mind is match what's already here let me show you how close we are so i got a piece of factory bracket hanging down right there and the easiest thing I can do is bring my chip up to it and I will move my camera around so you can see that. So there we are. It's gonna be hard to tell on this camera, but it is, I would say very close. Uh, their other red, whatever they call red hot is, it looks more red than it does kind of that orangey color. So habanero is gonna be key for us. Might be a, just a shade lighter, but I can also adjust that just with the color of different color of sealer underneath. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I've got some good summit, uh, 2k primer. I like the summit stuff. Uh, I'm going to prime over everything that gets painted just to kind of lock in what's there. There won't be a weird funky reaction later or something that causes the paint to flake or fall off or crumble or wrinkle or any of that stuff. So next is go to work. Remember I'm doing the hood in the trunk first. I can sand this hood on the car, do my little bit of body work like to that there and find whatever other spots on it. It really does look pretty good or flat rather. So I'll do some sanding. So let me preface by saying if there's a chance at all that my sander will touch this trim, it's getting taped off but i'm gonna hand sand probably this entire area of the fender here just to be sure there's no mistakes um not that the stuff is that difficult to take off and polish but if i was going to take it off to polish it i would take it off before i paint it and that's not part of the deal with this There we go. So I think my plan for today will be sand from here all the way to the opposite side, tops of the fenders. I'll probably leave this alone until I get the hood off the cowl, leave the cowl alone. Um, I might go ahead and sit down and do the bottom of the fenders too, just see where I get to. Um, I got to fix my little hickey there, but other than that, start sanding and see where else I need filler. Got a little bit of sanding down here. Uh, this left front fender and the hood. I ran over the hood with my DA. Um, then I just ground that little spot after I hammy, hammered and dollied it. It feels really good. I'm gonna hit it with some spot putty, um, probably in that full section there. Block that before I prime this. And that way when I come back and prime, or um, come back and block the entire hood, it should be gone. Uh, I was going to go ahead and spray a little guide coat over here. I can feel some spots, but I can't really tell where they are. So I got my guide coat in a can. And I went to tape this off and started feeling for that long piece of trim. It just had, had a screw right there. And then some of these funky old clips. I popped this side off. I saved those two clips. They just came out that center thing. And uh, the other side just had, I think, three screws holding it on on the entire 
other side. So if it comes down to it, I can hide some screws and stick them in. But I think these clips will, will work once again. You can see some of these little picks, uh, little chips rather. Uh, I like to say until those are gone. And I had to take this down to bare metal because uh, it had, see right there, little little tiny rust spots. They've got to go, 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 go. So they'll be gone. I can prime this side shortly, uh, maybe today. Get my whole section primed. I don't like to walk away and leave it in bare metal for more than a day or two. So this side over here is going to need a lot of love. Um, so I may just wait uh, to prime that down. You can see my body damage, my Bondo. Looks kind of like a um, some cellulite or something there. That's, that's car cellulite. Anyway. I'll go back to work. I'll let you watch me do a little spread in here on this, I guess, and keep pushing. For those of you who are curious, this is what I'm using, this U-Pole Fantastic Glaze, extra fine finishing glaze. Um, it tells you about all that jazz, what to sand it with. And I know a lot of people will argue with you, but this one says, can be used direct to metal. So, I like this stuff. I've just got a little bit left in this container. I'm going to get it put on the hood. I recommend that if you ever want to try some. Looks like that mixed. Take that a little. Take me a little more. Like everything else, get it right and leave it alone. Stop wiping it. Side coats on. Let's lock a little bit here. I'm gonna stain off my trim. And it won't take much to start seeing a spot. Should be able to see that. We're nice and low here. High, 
high, little low, 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 low. That one even has a little chip in it. So there's another little chip, chippy spot. I'll keep blocking. I'm probably gonna switch over to a smaller block so I can stay off the door. That gap is hanging out just a little bit there. And there's even some runs, like some old runs or something uh, in there. I'll, I normally knock that stuff off with just a piece of 80 later where they're good and clean before prime. Um, yep, just need a, need a little more love here. I'm gonna go ahead and work this whole fender and come back and show it to you when it's done. Found all my lows, smoothed them over, and my stuff here is good and dry now. I'm gonna take some 180 on my long block, and I'm gonna work this until it is very nice. Maybe y'all can hang out for that. Most of this should go away. Well, slow and steady wins the race, I guess. I got the hood about 90% ready to shoot uh, primer on. And this fender, fender is basically ready. I went ahead and got out my red scotch bright and hit every crack and crevice up really close to the trim, anything like that. Um, I got out some rougher paper and took those runs out of that. See where it's kind of multicolored there. Uh, yeah, gonna keep pushing tomorrow. I'll probably end the video here and show you all some big progress on Saturday, knock on wood. But as always, I appreciate y'all watching. I know this is a little bit slow. Um, just doing some body work, gotta get it ready. And hopefully we'll be shooting paint pretty soon. I got the kit ordered. It'll be here this week. So I'll catch y'all next time.